Hey guys, this is Chris from Highline Guitars, and you're watching another episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. In this episode, I am going to do a review, um, kind of a quick review, first impression of what it's like to work with Bell Bronze fret wire. Uh, this fret wire was sent to me by a company called Sintoms, S-I-N-T-O-M-S. I'll put a link to their website down in the description below. But they're located in uh, the city of Minx, which is right smack in the middle of Belarus. So if you're going to get in a car in Warsaw, Poland, and drive to Moscow, halfway there you'd be passing through the city of Minx. And maybe you could stop at the uh, Symptoms factory and get a tour, or maybe get some free fret wire. Anyway, um, they sent me this Bell Bronze fret wire along with titanium. More about this though later. I'm gonna, I'll probably do a quick review on this one on a future episode. In this episode, I want to focus on the Bell Bronze. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Bell Bronze is, it's an alloy which is formulated to make bells. You know, like um, church bells or um, old-time school bells, um, town halls. Uh, you know, those bells that you see on antique fire engines, uh, ships, that sort of thing. Um, there's also bell brass, but that's a whole different animal. Um, this is bell bronze. And when you think about it, a bell is supposed to ring loud and with tremendous sustain. And, I, you know, that's what we're all about as far as uh, we guitar builders. We want uh, sustained loudness. So um, it stands to reason that bell bronze fret wire would be perhaps the ultimate fret wire. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to install some of this bell bronze into one of my guitar necks, and I'm going to level it, recrown it, dress it, and polish it. And then I'll give you a, an idea of uh, where I think this uh, fret wire fits in in comparison to, say, nickel silver or stainless steel. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play the guitar because it's still got to be uh, finished, and that could be a ways out. But in a future episode, I'll be sure to play and record some notes so you can hear what it sounds like. And even though you won't be able to do a comparison between um, bell bronze and nickel silver on that same guitar, you can at least hear what it sounds like and decide for yourself whether you like it. Because as you know, um, stainless steel is a popular choice because of its incredible longevity. But there are some guitarists out there who don't like the way it sounds. So maybe this will be an alternative because I do know that bell bronze is a little bit harder than nickel silver. Um, and we'll see where it kind of fits in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to head out to the shop and install this and, and do everything I said I was going to do. And then I'll come back here and let you know what I think. Um, so I'll be back in an internet minute. Okay, well I finished installing uh, the Bell Bronze fret wire. Um, I leveled it and um, actually I, I spot leveled it and then I recrowned the frets and um, dressed the ends and then polished them up. So uh, as far as workability, I'd say it's pretty much the same as working with the nickel silver fret wire. I don't really sense a lot of difference. Uh, what I noticed though is when I was clipping the fret wire to length in comparison to nickel silver you know when you cut nickel silver with uh, fret cutters you'll f it, it kind of um, it pinches through the material the material in comparison to this or stainless steel uh, it feels nickel silver feels a little bit softer so it feels like it's just gradually squeezing through it with stainless steel you have to apply a great deal more force and the fret wire snaps and with this bell bronze it snaps just like the stainless steel does when you cut it but it takes quite a bit less force a little bit more than than nickel silver but nowhere near as much as as stainless steel 
And then in terms of uh, leveling it and recrowning, and I was just using my uh, three corner uh, regular tooth file to do that work. It it feels a little bit harder than nickel silver, but again, not not quite as hard as stainless steel. So, you know, where does it slot in with those with nickel silver and stainless steel? I'd say somewhere right in the middle. Um, I think you're going to get um, extended uh, lifespan out of this fret wire maybe not quite as long lasting as stainless steel but you're not going to have all the um, the hassles of working with this fret wire like you do with stainless steel it's gonna it works more like nickel silver so you know if you've hesitated on using stainless steel because of fear of what it's going to do to your hundred dollar diamond coated fret crowning tool I think you can rest at ease with um, this bell bronze. I think it's it's much easier to work with than uh, stainless steel. But again, I think you're going to get uh, longer life than you will with nickel silver. So that's kind of my um, quick mini review and first impression of working with this material. So uh, if you're interested in checking out symptoms, you know, go down to this uh, description below and click the link and check out their website. Uh, it's in Russian and English. Um, and I know that All Parts um, is one of their distributors. I don't know if they carry their full product line, but you can contact them and uh, they do a great job of shipping stuff out. So uh, I wouldn't hesitate uh, to order from them. So uh, there you have it. Um, that's my quick review on Symptoms Bell Bronze Fret Wire. And in a future episode, we're going to give some of this titanium fret wire um, the similar treatment. And um, I don't know, I think it'd be kind of cool to, you know, have a guitar that you could point to and say, you see that guitar there? That's got titanium fret wire on it. But uh, that's all for now. We will see you in the next episode. Take care.